Mohammed says, may I ask you a question? Yes. What does it mean, the expression, the squeaky wheel gets the grease? Thank you in advance. This is a good question. Now, you might think, is that an English expression? The squeaky wheel gets the grease? Yeah, it is. It is. And I actually believe it's effective. It's a good strategy for certain things. The squeaky wheel gets the grease. We say this when we want to comment on an interesting phenomenon. Phenomenon. The phenomenon is those who make the most noise get the most attention. Those who cause the most drama have the most focus put on them and maybe have their issues resolved more quickly. So while we're talking about a wheel, we're really talking about something else. So why is it a wheel? Well, let's say you have four, four wheels on your car. Uh, maybe a car is not a good example. Let's use bicycle. Two wheels on your bicycle, because it's a bicycle. Your back wheel is squeaking, making a sound. Now, if you take your lubricant, are you going to spray it on the one that's squeaking or the one that's not squeaking? You're going to spray it on the one that's squeaking, because that's where the problem is. That's the one making the noise. Why would I spray the grease? or lubricant, same thing, on the one that doesn't have an issue. I'm going to spray it on the one that has the squeaky sound so that the squeaky sound, sound stops, <laughs> right? <laughs> Makes sense. Now, we, we take that and we apply it to all kinds of other situations. Those who complain the loudest often have their concerns met first. If you have 10 people and they all have problems and concerns, right? And nine of these people are writing down their concerns in a very formal and polite way. I have a concern about I don't know, the way that you remember. They write a very angry letter and many exclamation marks and underlines and circles. And then they shout at someone on the phone. Rah, 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 rah. Who are they going to help first? Who are they going to deal with first? The people taking the concerns. Who's going to get their concerns met first? Will it be the people who are most polite and respectful? Or will it be the loud one that's making the most noise? Unfortunately, the way the world works is usually it's the one that's making the most noise that gets their concerns met. So when we say the squeaky wheel gets the grease, sometimes we're just remarking or commenting on the fact that this is a thing. That sometimes you have to make noise and cause problems just to get noticed. Because if you just keep your head down and write down your concerns very politely, you will be in line forever because the squeaky wheels will always be having their concerns met first. That's the idea. I use this strategy sometimes when I talk to customer service people. Sometimes if I'm impatient and show my impatience intentionally, and I know people who are in customer service, don't be angry at me, I will sometimes be a little aggressive and ask for a solution more quickly because I want, I know that if I do that, my problem will be resolved more, more quickly. Instead of saying, please wait, sir, we have many rules. I, I, I want to speak to the manager. Maybe I can then get my issue resolved more quickly because I do that, right? <laughs> Sometimes, because you remember the squeaky wheel gets the grease, the squeaky wheel gets the grease. Sometimes you use that to your advantage to be the one that causes a little chaos to have your concern paid attention to. Now, sometimes this is used critically to point out that that's not fair. Unfortunately, the squeaky wheel usually gets the grease. So I have three kids and usually the one who's the most talkative and always, always complaining about that's not fair. You always do. He's the one who gets the most attention and we give him the most stuff. I know it's not fair. So we're pointing out there that Life isn't fair, and we pay attention often to the loudest voices. Or we want to fix the system. We shouldn't only give uh, the best solutions to the squeaky wheel. Sometimes you call them the squeaky wheel. We should try to be fair and treat everyone equally. Maybe you're trying to fix that issue. So that's how it's used. I use the example of customer service and people making complaints. But you could also use it in families. You could also use it when you're in conversations. 
Usually it's sharing some sort of issue. Usually there's a problem that it's related to. It's a very common expression. And usually it is used to comment on the fact that this thing happens, whether we're trying to fix it or we're just noticing it. Very common expression. Very good question, Mohammed. Thanks a lot. Guys, if you haven't already, I would really appreciate if you could hit the like button and don't forget to don't forget to subscribe and also check out my full courses in the links in the description. Great question.